Why people are so susceptible? Why do we not only believe, but actively seek and spread misinformation? What is the process by which a seemingly rational person begins to entertain, adopt, and then defend irrational beliefs? It's a book about each of us. But first of all, Dan Ariely's tough situation. One morning, he woke up and checked his messages from email and social media. Suddenly, everyone seemed to hate him, even a few friends. Why? How did this happen? The dislike wasn't just for Dan Ariely. It extended to his family, with messages saying mean things. Why? How did this happen? While trying to correct misinformation, he ended up being portrayed as a bad guy, blamed for all the bad things related to the pandemic. Why? How did this happen? We all consume information and try to use it to understand the world around us. Sometimes we get to add junctions, take a wrong turn and become lost. If we want to avoid that fate for ourselves or our loved ones, it's important to acknowledge this possibility and strive for empathetic understanding of the path that leads to the wrong turn. In the upcoming episode, we'll unravel three common mental traps that many of us fall into. First of all, fear factor. Ever find yourself reacting emotionally after reading or watching something? We often kickstart with emotions like fear and stress and the urgency to manage these overwhelming feelings. The second, find false explanation. Feeling out of control? No worries. We tend to seek simply explanations and someone to blame. Accuracy? Truth? Not crucial. We just crave a short-term relief from the discomfort. The third, not our fault. Ah, the bliss of feeling in the know and in control. Temporarily comforting, especially when we can reassure ourselves that whatever is happening is not our fault. But here's the twist. While diving into online communities for quick fixes might offer momentary relief, it's a slippery 